Welcome. My name is Wenling, and today I'll be guiding you through a practice called watering the heart. Gently allow your right palm to rest on top of your left, allowing the big thumbs to touch, letting your eyes close and rest underneath the blankets of your eyelids. Gently opening the eyes, begin to form Hasta Mudra or bowl with your palms. Scoop from underneath a lake and gather that water. Allow that to rinse your mind, your head. Let that water trickle down your back as you push your palms away, opening your heart. Two more times like this. Gathering and creating a pranic bath for yourself as you scoop from underneath the lake. Let the water rinse and cleanse your mind. Exhaling, releasing, opening your heart. One more time like this. Scooping mindfully, enjoying, visualizing that water rising, trickling down your head, your neck, your shoulders. Exhaling, releasing and spreading the arms away. Now slowly and gently coming back to your Hasta Mudra, this time we will come in towards a Qigong inspired Mudra. Exhale, pushing the palms away. Inhale, gathering, raising that water up towards your face. Exhale, turn the palms away and let them spread out. A few more times like this. Inhale, rising on your knees. Exhale, spiraling, letting that open up. Gently rocking and rising on inhale, settling and relaxing on exhale. Rising on inhale, gathering, releasing and softening your heart on exhale. Slowly begin to enter tabletop position, letting your shoulders, elbows and wrists stack, toes tuck under. Begin to raise your right leg and step the right foot forward between your palms. And on inhale, rising up in towards your low lunge or Anjaneyasana position. Exhale, maybe you lunge a little bit deeper, allowing the pelvis to create space. Slowly, we'll gather again. Inhale, scooping from under with the palms. Exhale, let that pranic buff cleanse your mind. Tap the back of your heart, twist towards your right. A few more times like this. Gather, lunging deeper, scooping that pranic buff, tap the back of your heart and twist towards your right. Lunging deep, gathering with your palms, touching the back of your shoulders as you twist open. This time, let your left palm settle and reach your right arm up towards the sky in a gentle twist. One more breath. Exhale, set your right palm down. And this time, turn forward to face the camera, coming in towards a kneeling position. Coming into kneeling warrior and allow the big thumb and index fingers to touch. Inhale, rising on your knees, gathering. Exhale, coming back to the same mudra. Inhale, gathering, rising. Exhale, releasing, calming and watering your heart. A few more times like this. Inhale. Exhale, let that go. Inhale, scooping, gathering. Exhale, spiraling and releasing. This time, rest your left palm down on towards the ground and then reach your right arm up towards the sky. Coming in towards a variation of side plank with a heart opener. Slowly let your right arm circle forward as you come back towards the front of your mat. From here, lift your back knee off the ground and you walk your palms all the way towards the other side of your mat, allowing your left knee to bend, your right knee to set down on towards the ground and we'll do the same flow on the other side. Inhaling, coming up towards your low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Again, inhaling, gathering, scooping your pranic bath. 
Exhale, let that tap your heart and twist towards your left. Inhale, scoop and gather. Feel that pranic bath cleanse your mind. Exhale, twist, open towards the left. One more time, gathering, cleansing with love. Twist gently towards your left. This time, slowly set your right palm down and reach your left arm up towards the sky in a gentle twist. One more breath. Allow your right foot to tuck under backwards as you turn to face towards the camera in the kneeling position, kneeling warrior. Big thumbs and index fingers touching. Inhale, rising on your knees. Exhale again, calming your heart. Inhale, gathering the pranic bath. Exhale, watering your heart. Inhale, gather. Exhale, release. Let the water trickle away. Set your right palm down in line with your right knee and reach your left arm up and behind, coming into a heart opener. One more breath. Gently set your left palm and let it trace back towards the front of your mat, coming back in towards your low lunge. Palms framing your left foot, tucking your right toes under, right knee off the ground. Inhale, you rise on towards your high lunge with your left knee bent. Slowly begin to set your right foot down on towards the ground, in towards your warrior one stance. Straighten your front knee, inhale, gather. Exhale, let that go as you bend your front knee. Inhale, straightening the front knee. Exhale, let that go as you bend your front knee. Inhale, gathering towards your heart. Exhale, watering the heart. Inhale, gather and cleanse. Exhale, calming and soothing. This time turning all the way towards the other side and we'll return to the same floor on the other side coming first in towards your high lunge take a breath here and then slowly and gently begin to settle your back foot down in towards your warrior one stance and then we'll come in towards that same flow straightening your front leg scooping that water close to your heart Exhale, let that go as you bend your front knee. Inhale, gather. Exhale, calm that heart. Inhale, water your heart. Exhale, spread that away. One more time. Inhale, gather. Exhale, let that go. With the next breath, slowly and gently begin to turn towards the camera. Coming in towards a variation where the feet are turned out about 45 degrees as you bend through the knees, gather. Exhale, calm the surface of the leg. Inhale, gather, watering your heart. Exhale, bend through your knees in towards goddess pose. Inhale, calming, gathering. Exhale, letting that water trickle away. Gather. Exhale, spread that away, sit a little bit deeper. One last time, inhale, gather. And then this time, exhale, begin to straighten your legs. Bring both palms towards your hips. And as you exhale, begin to come in towards wide-legged forward fold with your feet parallel. Inhale, lift your chest, your heart. Exhale, melt the spine forward. Let everything begin to pour forward. You may walk your palms backwards beyond where your heels are, turning your palms in the opposite direction. One more breath. Bring the palms back underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen the spine. This time, keep your right palm there and twist open towards your left. Exhale, set the left palm down in the center and twist towards your right. One more breath, releasing the right palm down. 
turning to face the right side of your mat in your high lunge position and you'll step back in towards your tabletop and gently let your hips settle down, forehead to rest down on towards the mat in your child's pose. Taking a few breaths. With every inhale, feel your belly rise. With every exhale, let your hips settle down towards the earth. Gently and slowly, walking and letting everything spill over towards your right. This is a pose for your left side body. You can stack your left palm on top of your right palm. Feel the left side body lengthen and the muscles along your right side contract. Inhale, returning back towards the center. And let everything spill over toward your left, stacking your right palm on top of your left. A few more breaths here, connecting with your right side body, your lateral side. And then slowly letting everything come back towards the center. From here, we'll begin to stretch the palms forward, allowing the elbows to drop, palms to come together behind the head, resting in Anjali Mudra as we come into a variation of child's pose with a heart opener. Allow the backs of your palms, fingers to graze and touch the back of your heart. Gently releasing. Let both palms rest down, looking forward. Come back briefly in towards your tabletop position. Setting your palm firmly on the ground, open your right arm up towards the sky and drape and thread that right arm down as you rest your right cheek down on towards the ground. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you lift your left arm. And let that left palm begin to tuck under and spiral. Maybe you also begin to walk your left leg out forming a tent shape, creating more space for your heart to spiral open in this twist. Feel that your right shoulder blade is moving away from your spine and your left shoulder blade is approaching closer. With every exhale, soften your heart. Release the top arm, set your left palm down. Press through the left palm. And then slowly and gently come back towards your tabletop position. We'll do this on the other side now. Press down through your right palm, open and lift your left arm up towards the sky, treading your left arm underneath. Let your left cheek rest down on towards the ground. Maybe you stay here, nestling your side. Maybe you open and let your right arm, your right palm, find the side of your left thigh. Maybe you extend your right leg out, forming, creating more space for that spiral. Feel your left shoulder blade moving away from your spine, your right shoulder blade moving closer towards your spine. With every exhale, soften your heart. One more breath, releasing that right palm down, tucking your right knee back, coming back in towards your tabletop position. From here, we'll begin to come in towards a heart opening pose as you come down on towards your forearms in a variation of puppy pose, raising your palms, let the forehead rest down, bring the palms closer towards the back of your heart. Feel your heart begin to blossom open towards the ground. 
and take a few breaths here. With every exhale, soften your heart. Allow everything to melt. With every inhale, feel your chest expand. Gently and slowly releasing from the pose, coming back onto the forearms, the palms. And then slowly walking, allowing the hips to nestle, your forehead to rest down. Back towards your child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Slowly returning into table. And then from here, begin to let everything pour down as you lay on your belly. Allow your arms to open out in a T shape at the height of your shoulders. Walk your left palm closer towards your chest and begin to spiral so that you stack and lay on your right side body. Maybe you begin to reach your left leg as you bend your left knee and walk that away from you. Maybe you also begin to reach your left arm behind you. So this is a pose for your right shoulder. Connecting with the sensations in your right shoulder. Stay here for a few more breaths. Gently releasing that top palm down. Slowly, the same way we enter, the same way we return back on towards the belly, releasing the leg, the palm. Lie back on towards your belly. Maybe you turn to face the other side this time. Taking a few breaths here. And then with no rush, walking your right palm closer towards your right chest. Rolling to lie on your left side. And then maybe you begin to inch your top leg as you bend your top knee. And let your hip flexor move and lengthen. Maybe you also begin to float your right palm. Right arm treads behind your body and let your right fingers rest behind your left waist. A few more breaths here. With every exhale, connect the sensations in your left shoulder. Gently release your top palm, bring your top leg back in closer and then roll back on your belly, coming back in towards your T-shape, releasing your arms by the sides of your body, allowing your neck to look towards whichever side that feels good and then slowly stacking both palms in crocodile, letting your forehead rest on top of the palms. When you feel ready, slowly and gently coming back, walking your palms backwards in briefly towards child's pose. Taking a few breaths here. And then walking the palms in closer towards your knees, roll up the spine, bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra. And then one palm to the heart, the other palm towards your solar plexus, your navel center. With every exhale, soften your heart. Allow both palms to come together in prayer, sending gratitude to your heart. Thank you for joining me in this practice.